Uh, hello guys, so welcome to another video. So as I promised, uh, what we need to do in this video is to create our um, program structure, how the whole banking system will work like. So let me just go on this piece of paper. So first of all, let's say um, they, there are two users, right? A new user and a, a, a already registered user. So let's say our bank is called Jin. World bank right just like this so it will be like uh welcome to world bank and then it will say okay login first of all give an option of logging in then another option will be like what create a create a account create an account then what then an option to exit if the person is not interested in all of the features maybe x that will be our exit then when the user logins to the account he is he will see he, when he logs in, in in right he or she is going to enter his credential let's say um this is a login page called login page just like that right login page yes mind my handwriting then on login page it will be like enter a uh, username enter username then next it will prompt the user to enter his uh, account password user password user password then the person will be prompted into the account or or what exit because we need to to give the op the user an option to exit every time anyway so just like this so what's next right so if the user enter a enter his user or um, if the user password then it's going to direct the person to to a different page which we're going to deal with but then if this user is a new account once they create an account he or she is going to be direct to create new account page just like this so on the new account page what are the things which we need so i have written down some of the things here okay um there is need of what let me just go back and check with my notes which i've been writing so okay this one is not it <clears throat> okay there is need of what and a custom id maybe automatically generated or we just write or we just give the username uh, he or she is going to enter his name surname phone number email uh account okay data that uh, no 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 not this one date of account creation then that these are the things which will be needed on what on this part so this is what we are going to create and so i'm going to further um, describe it as we go with the video in the next part okay so not forgetting after the user you have logged into his or her account right he will be he or she will be directed to an account dashboard so how will our account dashboard look like so let's just do this all right account dashboard right so under our account dashboard right the user have an option to select from account details details or okay profile just like this then he is able to make a deposit make a deposit or what withdraw money which is the withdrawal option the function we're going to create that one then uh, also this other feature is to check for account inquiry account uh, balance inquiry so if you have any other 
the features which you want to be added to just write in the description or in the in the chat section so a balance inquiry right then the app the user is okay since you have an account right you'll be able to do what modify your account so this is another important feature which is needed modify account where you can change your account name yeah Usual, or, or, no, you no where you can change your pin code yeah that's the correct that's the privilege which you want to give then he or she is able to close an account but he will be able to close an account when there is no negative balance in fact you will not let the user have a negative balance so the last option will be log out from the account or the exit just like this where he when he or she wants to when he or she doesn't want to participate in any of those options he is just going to click uh, maybe let's say x to log out then he will be logged out from the account so the guys see you in the next video make sure you stay subscribe or even follow this i don't know how you may click the notification it's all up to you but next time in the next video we're going to jump into the computer where we're going to deal with this c++ dev compiler this one yeah <laughs> okay let me just yeah just that so guys i hope you have a good day bye for now